ADHD. That's it's all the same thing. I think that and hoarding and and OCD, there's definitely a crossover. And no woman has ever said you have to stop hoarding. Oh, I mean, my girlfriend now is, yeah, I mean, it definitely is something that frustrates her. Yeah. What's a fight about it sound like? I'll be her. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, you do you know what I mean? Do you get, do you, <laughs> that's me. You do, you, uh, do you get quiet? Do you sulk? How do you, how do you argue? Are you passive aggressive? Uh, I don't think I'm passive aggressive, but I'm definitely not a screamer or a yeller. And yeah. I've, I've definitely driven people crazy in the past who like, I stay calm and they're like, Oh, are you used to freaking out? People freak out. I'm, I'm going to disappoint you. Yeah. I'm never going to freak <laughs> Cause out. I'm going to listen. And I mean, I'm not perfect, obviously, but I, I think I remain calm and try yeah. to stay logical, but, but I'm also, you know, I can be, you know, out of my mind also. Irritated or like incredibly angry. I get little frustrations. I don't, I, I'm not like a, like if I, there's things that make me particularly angry. Like if I lose something, like my keys or something, it's, it might be, I don't yell and scream, but I'm clear. It might not be great to be around me when I lost my keys. Interesting. No, I'm not going to punch the wall. I'm not going to yell at you. I'm not going to take it out. You're on just, you. I can see you like can just whirling see the, dervishy, like, like, Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You just see the. Yeah. Like drill a hole wherever you're standing with your energy. Right, right. All right, and then of course, OCD. Who can forget OCD? Yeah. Do you have any OCD issues? I don't think I do. I don't. I'm trying to think of what I. I don't think. Give me some examples of yours, and maybe I do. Well, I mean, something often. I mean, this might be ADHD also, but like, if I take something out of the dryer and drop it on the ground, I'm like, <sighs> like you I've gotten better. Like, like I used to just like throw it back in the wash i'd be like i'm not gonna and then i said you know what a sock on the ground for four seconds it's not even four seconds it's probably not dirty still but just so that kind of thing would be like me go <sighs> but then i get up a few weird ones where like i'll get like a i'm not like a, a basket case on this but like one that i've had a few times lately is where i'll be in a store and I'll want to know what something costs, even though if I'm not interested in like to see something that doesn't have a price tag, I and it drives me this. crazy that I don't have a price tag. And you look at every size tag to see if any of them have a price tag. I've done that. Well, do you, do you? Will you then like demand to know how much? It costs? No, no, no. I mean, a lot of this stuff, I check myself and I'd be like, all right, just fucking like. You know, like with the dropping something on the ground, on the ground, I'll be like, I'm pretty, I'll be like, but <laughs> I will, you know, it's not going to ruin anyone's day or my day, but. You don't have to go home. Go home? Like, you don't have to, like, start, yeah, I don't have any OCDs. Like, I'm trying to think of, I feel like maybe I'm forgetting one, but I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I have them with numbers a little bit, things that are numerical, just like. I remember I did a movie and the guy was telling Todd me. Todd Berry's in The Wrestler, by the way. Very yeah, good I did, Wrestler. What's the matter today? Raise the price of tights? <laughs> I did a, one of my movies. I can't remember which one, but I, but I remember the guy was explaining what they were paying for, like, I don't know, per diem or something. And I was like, it wasn't quite like, well, on this day you get it. And I really was like asking a lot of questions about <laughs> it because it was driving me crazy. Yeah. Not that I was like, felt like I was being ripped off or anything. I'd be more apt to think I was being ripped off. Yeah. Like I would be like, wait, oh, but it is a, most of what people consider like pains in the ass or freak outs. It's just someone dealing with some weird mental process mm -hmm. that they can't like you. They were probably like, that's this fucking guy, buddy. It's $55, but you were, and it's not like about the $55. Right. Um, you, I mean, you blow that on storage I, in, a, uh, in, a, in an buy, hour, but I'm, I'm saying a bagel for that much. I mean, please. Um, but yeah, I don't, I, I yeah, I have the, I don't think I have any OCDs. I'm trying to think if I have any other fun ones. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there, there's times, yeah, well, I'll just get compulsion to buy something that I don't really want and can't think of an example, but ruminating, help me, help me with ruminating. Do you have that? My my life is one long rumination. Uh, it's ruined. I mean, I who knows what I could have been in life if I weren't 
still arguing with people for I'm arguing with every, if we get into an argument, it's never over. I'll be on my best behavior. Then. Well, no, I mean, honestly, it's like it, it can, it, it's over, but I rarely do. I forget. Really? And again. Yeah. And sometimes it, it is vengeful and petty. Other times it's just like, if I don't understand it or if I feel like it's unresolved and it often feels unresolved, I will argue I've made the joke before. My goal, it's me and Chappelle's mutual goal. My goal is on his deathbed, his final thought is Neil was right. Beep. Like that and right and vice versa. Like I I there are people in my life that I it's an ongoing like no. Just cause they they wronged you and never came clean or, or they never wrong, apologized. Not even wrong. It's just sometimes sometimes it's like wronged is probably too strong a word. Just a different like with Dave, it's just like a diff if it's like a difference of I don't even know what I'd want him to think I'm right about everything, basically. Mm -hmm. But I'm in the middle of one right now. Let's hear it. Can you can't. Oh, you can't, can't do it. Okay. But I'm I'm it's emails Friday. We're recording this on Monday. Email with somebody uh, Thursday, Friday, and I'm still pouring over it in my head. Yeah, it's. Uh, I heard someone say something recently where they're talking about disagreeing with it. Sometimes it's just all right to let someone be wrong. Mm. And I thought that was an interesting. I mean, you don't always want someone to be wrong because wrong could be a lot of things. Wrong could be murdering someone. Right. But sometimes it's just like, what am I? Yeah, just. Yeah, how I can think, I? I don't I'm think never going to convince them. Right. So let them have this. And yeah. Yeah, so I, that's kind of something to think about. But I ruminate. I often it's usually something I wish I had said, and of then course. and then it's like it's too late to. Uh, and, and my therapist would say you, it's never too late, but I I would disagree with her. Wait, it's never too late. Like if it's like I'd tell you know I said I should have said something about this and uh, and then uh, well you can still tell you can still say something. It's like yeah I'm not. And you're like, so you're basically encouraging me to start an argument. Right. Like, uh, you sound like a crazy person. Going yeah. Going back just to the like, restaurant hey, and going like, thing, uh. There's another thing we didn't know. But, but that, I mean, I ruminate over, yeah, missed opportunities of of just saying something like, oh, I should have said that. That yeah. would have the perfect thing to say. That's the French have a saying for it. I don't know what the, it's the, <laughs> the wit of the staircase. Uh, it's a esprit de scale, I believe is the, the poor French Holy pronunciation. Shit. But they I've, clearly, I've thought about a lot of this. Yeah. I've looked it up. I've got the French shit. <laughs> like they, it's a, it's a real issue. And and I also had the. I'm obsessed with fairness, um, which might be a little autism. Uh, somebody was telling me like, I just understand literal things. Like, well, no, you said this, right. therefore it has to be this, and it's like or we made this agreement, how could you possibly violate it? Like it just spins me out, like just gets me in a, in like a, like the, the computer loop of like the bouncing ball. Um, but I've had the thought recently, I can keep, I can stand in front of the restaurant and pick at it, or I can just go to a different restaurant. Right. right. But it's real hard to, for me to pack it in. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, I mean, I think my therapist used this, something about, there's an expression about justice, people who are into yeah. justice. I wish I remember what it was. But what, what, like what's there's the a type theme? of, like you're just justice obsessed person or something like that. Yeah, I'm upset. I really, Chappelle one time said, I've never met someone more obsessed with justice than you. I, I can't, I'm like, but it ends up becoming like emotional vigilanteism. <laughs> where I can't believe that person think that I need to correct it. And I want even the, th when we end this, I have to, I have a phone call with a friend to talk about the thing. I'm the problem I'm having with somebody and to make sure my friend knows what that, I, what happened. And, and just like, this is a giant waste of human resources. Do you ever have this kind of, this is my worst kind of nightmare where something gets resolved in your dream. And then you wake up and it wasn't, you realize, oh, that was a dream. I've never, I've, if you but think you my. Just remind, remind me when you said like, I'm sorry, or on the deathbed said you were right. Yeah. Like I'll have a dream where someone's going, yeah, man, I, I fucked. Yeah, I sh you were right about that thing. And you have this great dream and then you wake up and you're like, I'm back in this 
feud that I was in or something. That's so fun. My dreams are my dreams are literal and ho- the most poorly written. I fucking do you ever have good dreams? I never have good. I've dreams. Never had a good dream in my I don't life. Even know. I never. I don't know what when people say sweet dreams. I've literally said what are what are you talking about? I don't even know how that's po- like. What do you mean? Yeah. Sweet dreams. Like w- my grandfather was there. What do you what? <laughs> my grandfather was like a fucking uh, alcoholic, illiterate monster. Like you know what I mean? Like there's no. <laughs> So and so and ah, yeah. It's all the it's the Mitch Hedberg. I hate to dream because dreaming takes energy. I lay down on a bed, it feels great. Next thing you know, I have to build a go kart with my ex landlord. <laughs> <laughs> Just like dream logic of like what? Yeah. What what is this? What is this nonsense? Yeah, I don't know. And I've looked up rumination a lot, and um no one seems to have a good I mean, remedy. There's a quick fix that I saw, I think, on TikTok, which is, I mean, basically, you start ruminating. You know, you know in your heart that you're ruminating, and you're not like, I need to really think about this. Which just like, I've gone. Sometimes I'll say to myself, "You've given this enough energy." Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, like, for six months you've been thinking about this one exchange you had yeah. with someone that you wish went differently. You you can just move it along. Well, the you know now the funny thing is, I haven't seen your newest hour, uh, which is called uh, Domestic Short Hair. Domestic Short Came Hair came out today. Came out today. Congratulations. Thank you. I, most of your act, as I recall it, was interactions with stupid people. <laughs> they are. Yeah, I, I realized that at some point. Like, I, I never thought of myself as a storyteller, but it's a lot of it is just like, this guy said something down to me. This, <laughs> yeah, let's this, take that down. Yeah. So it is a rumination. It's like you made a good living off of rumination yeah, in yeah. a weird way. But the quick fix I heard was basically, it sounds overly simplistic, was basically do anything else. Like you find yourself ruminating, start singing a song. Interesting. You know, just snap yourself out of it basically okay i mean that's it's kind of easier said than done but yeah i mean the other the other thing that i've realized is like the, all these things i'm ruminating about i mean some of it is does end up with it you end up writing a joke that happens yeah, sometimes yeah. but i'm ruminating over the same eight things for fucking 30 years you know what i mean yeah. like constant I mean, that i'm thankful for some of them just got retired parents shit like that like i just like yeah but other ones are so uh endless that it's 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 such a waste of my life yeah i've had people who are you know maybe did something that pissed me off and then i kind of privately make peace with them you know, I don't go, hey, it's cool. With but, yourself. Yeah. Uh, just with, gotta, just within be like, your I'm not going to what am I going to give this person dirty looks every time I run into him or something? Right. I mean, not that I've had a lot of feuds or anything, but it's happened. <laughs> Look. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't, I do need, I need help. It's probably the biggest area I need help in. Wow. Of all, look, I have, look guys, I don't, not only do I cover blocks, I have them. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.